there everybody, Casey here, and welcome to Home Cooking. If this is your first time visiting with me, hey, I'm so happy you're here. And if you've been here before, well, you know, welcome home. Today, I'm gonna cook a little something that's healthy, but oh, is it so full of flavor. It's decadent, it's tasty, it's savory. It's turkey black bean chili. Yeah, I said it. Let me tell you something. My family, as you know, are bean lovers and we love chili. But a lot of the things that I cook, not all that healthy. And I think that it's important to have a balance. So. I came up with this little turkey black bean recipe. And let me tell you a little thing about turkey meat. Turkey is actually good for your cholesterol levels because it's lower in fat. It is leaner than ground beef. It is probably one of the leanest meats you can put into chili with the exception of chicken, which you can use too. And there is the black bean. The black beans, they taste good. But did you know that black beans actually can lower your blood glucose levels? And for those people who are diabetic, hey, that's a win-win situation. Then, black beans also are good for your heart. And finally, black beans are full, full, full of fiber. So it keeps those pipes clean too. Hey, you can't beat that with a stick. So my question to you is, if I could give you a recipe or a meal that is flavorful, delicious, decadent, and savory, and most of all, good for you, would you wanna know how I do it? Well, Stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Mix it up below. That's Okay, I got three pounds of lean ground turkey meat, a couple of packs of McCormick's mild chili seasoning, low sodium, some cilantro, garlic powder cumin, chili powder, Splenda or sweetener of your choice, salt, pepper, a few cans of tomato sauce, several cans of black beans, cause you know I'm feeding a big group here. I have a red onion, a red pepper, all diced up and ready to go, and of course some cooking spray to keep things from sticking. I have a small pan that I am going to heat up, and I'm gonna put that on a medium high heat because I want to steam those vegetables. Let me check this skillet and see if it's ready. And it looks like it's about ready because my water's dancing. And I'm going to get my vegetables into this skillet so they can begin the steaming process. I don't want to fry them. I don't want to saute them. I want to steam them so I can maintain the integrity of these vegetables. Let me flatten them out so they can steam through evenly. I'm going to get a lid on this skillet. And then I am going to turn the heat down to a low temperature and they're gonna steam through. You know, the first time I ever had anything that was like chili, my mother made it when I was a kid. It's called pinto beans and ground beef. That's what she called it. And that's exactly what it was. Ground beef, pinto beans, nothing else. And I'm gonna tell you, I hated that stuff. I didn't like chili until I grew up and made my own. And that's a sad thing to say because my mother was a good cook. Anyhow, I've already browned the ground turkey, got it in there. Now I'm going to put my black beans in that I have rinsed and drained because I wanted to get all that extra sodium that is in the preserving process when you have canned beans. Now what I'm going to do is kind of 
stir it up a little bit because we want to get all the stuff incorporated. And here come my beautiful veggies. Aren't they so cute? I'm going to get those seasonings that we saw earlier. And that includes the McCormick's mild chili seasoning. I'm going to get that in there. And I'm going to get all those cans of tomato sauce. Every last one of them. Because like I said, I'm making a big pot of chili for quite a few people. Get that all in there. And then I'm going to stir all this up together. Now I want to make sure that everything is completely combined. So I stir from the bottom of my pot all the way up. And I just keep stirring until everything becomes one color. I'm going to turn my heat up to a medium high. Because what I'm trying to achieve is to get my pot hot enough to start bubbling. You're going to see a little bubbling going on. Let me stir this just a little bit more, make sure it's fully combined. And I'm gonna get my Splenda in there. You're gonna use whatever you wanna use to sweeten it, but don't skip this step because the sweetener is going to offset the tanginess of the tomato sauce, which is very important. If you don't do that, in my opinion, it just kind of ruins the recipe. Let me get a lid on this pot. And you're gonna see this. This is gonna be the slight bubbling I'm talking about. It's not rapid, but it's starting to bubble, which means it's heating from the bottom up. And that also means that I'm gonna start stirring because even though I have nonstick pots, I just don't trust it. Let me get my lid back on there. And I'm gonna turn my heat down to a medium low. And I'm gonna cook this chili for about an hour. And during the time that it's cooking, we're going to check it periodically and do what? Stir it so it can look like that when it's done. Ooh, it's so savory and flavorful. And we're going to plate it up. Ooh, I love mine with sour cream, shredded cheese, and some chives. Let's get a little taste taste. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Here comes my daughter. She's going to ask for some. And I hate sharing my chili. Should I give her some? You want to taste this? Okay, here you go. Well, well. Oh, okay. Back. Go get your own. It's a whole pot of chili there. Oh my goodness. Your family's gonna love this. If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because that's gonna tell you when I'm coming at you with another recipe. And remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And as always, you know what I wish you. Love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See ya on the flip side. Bye-bye. That's no good day.